All right. So first of all, if you guys remember that the sine of a negative theta is equal to the negative version of um, sine of theta, right? Because sine is an odd function. The only time it was equal to exactly the same, it's not on your, it's not on your phone, it was in your notes, is, is the cosine and the secant function, because that's when it was even, right? Um, so therefore, if sine of theta equals 0.4, then sine of negative theta is just going to equal negative 0.4. Or let's just rewrite this. And then, hold on, let's go through our two identities. And then also remember that the uh, cosecant of theta, using the reciprocal identity, is 1 over the sine of theta. Right? Yes. All right. So um, let's see here. We have the sine of negative theta plus the cosecant of theta. And we know that the sine of theta is 0.4. Well, then the sine of negative theta is going to be a negative 0.4 plus the cosecant, which is going to be 1 over 0.4. Right? So now we basically need to um, add those together. And we have a calculator, so we'd probably go ahead and do that. Or if we wanted to. Rewrite this, uh, put this in fractional form. <sighs> let's see here. We could, let's see, how are my answer choices written? Which problem was this? 39? Yeah. Did you guys combine those? I mean, you, would, you would have to use the denominator 2.1. 2.1 is the answer? Mm -hmm. So let's. Yeah, and to save myself some time and going through this, oh, what am I doing time? Ah, crap, I got to go. So the answer, when you plug it into your calculator, since you will have a calculator, it's going to be 2.1. Um,